In this video, I want to talk about how to type or how to write on the Apple Watch. And there are, of course, multiple ways how you can uh, type and do this kind of stuff. For for example, when you are texting, emailing, or using pretty much anything where you need to input text. So there are some keyboards which became a bit popular recently, but it's not official from Apple. That means that you will have to download the third-party app, which pretty much works on a way that you open it up, type something in using the tiny keyboard, then copy the text and paste it somewhere else. So it's not really that practical. And I made a separate video just about that. So go ahead and watch it and take a look at it if you want to. So you're usually mostly stuck with dictation and a scribble. So the problem is that, that many people have not accessed the scribble feature. It simply does not appear when they try to type in some text. It's just not there, there is no button to start scribbling. And this is mostly what I would like to address in this video. So the problem with this is that only a few languages support it. And it's, of course, only the official or like the most commonly spoken languages on the earth, which includes, of course, English, French, German, Italian, Spanish, simplified Chinese and traditional Chinese. All other languages, as of right now, do not have uh, support for the Scribble, at least at this point of time. So, But that doesn't mean that you cannot use the Scribble for other languages, like you set it up for English, for example, but you can type in, in pretty much any other language with some limitations, of course, but it should be pretty okay and you should get the job done with this, even though your language is not added officially to the Scribble. By the way, guys, if you're new on this channel, what you can do is to click on a subscribe because it definitely does help you. It does help me. We can grow bigger and you don't miss future uploads. And also, if you like the watch face that you can see right now on my wrist, then make sure to take a look at the description. There is a link where you can actually get this. So let's continue with the video. So the way that you change languages can be accessed right on the watch. So once you get to a section where you need to type something in, there should be an option or a button with the languages written on it. And if you click on it, you can switch between like three or some languages. So if you can already see the one that I say is supported, then just select this one and it's gonna become available to you, the feature where you can scribble text. But if you cannot see it, you're going to have to add a keyboard of that specific language to your iPhone, which is paired to the Apple Watch. And this you can do very easily if you go to the settings, of course, and go to the general section and language and region. Or you actually come back to the keyboard. I'm sorry about that. So you go to the keyboard and make sure to add another keyboard uh, to this list. Make sure to add uh, the uh, keyboard that supports of that supporting language. So if you don't have an English keyboard, make sure to add it right there. Once you add that keyboard to your iPhone, it will also appear on the Apple Watch. And that is that between those languages, you're gonna find English and you can select it on the Apple Watch when trying to type something in. And the scribble option button will pop up and you can click it and start scribbling. So this is how you can actually add it there if you cannot see it at first place. And also you have some more options, like of course, if you're typing something in, you can scroll on the digital crown to get some recommendations of what you actually wanted to type. But since we have English, it only gives you English uh, proposals or some things that you may want to type or say. So like I say, with these limitations, you can type using any language. Also, if you switch that language, uh, the prepared options for replies are also going to change. So if you change it to a different language from that language, uh, the options are going to be listed. Things like I'm going to talk to you later and some simple answers like yes, no and other stuff is going to be in that language, which is kind of obvious, of course. And other than that, you have some dictation, which of course works, but it's kind of I don't know, it doesn't always work uh, like it does, but you don't always have the situation where you could talk to your Apple Watch to type something in. And also you have emojis, but that would be pretty much it. 
Just like I say, if you're interested in the keyboard, which I do not think is a good idea, you can take a look at the video I made about it. I believe that there are some links to apps where you can get this, but like I say, it's not really that useful. Scribble is actually a great way because you can type one character after the other. You can delete it, you can uh, do stuff, you can like uh, type in question marks and other symbols which is very useful and you don't really need a keyboard I would say if you have the scribble option. So that would be pretty much it. I really do hope that you enjoyed this video and found it helpful in case I made it easier or more understandable for you to find uh, all of the things and actually start typing on the watch then just make sure to leave a comment telling me something or asking a question leave a thumbs up this does help me a lot because I can see that you enjoyed it or found some value in uh, the video and like I say for more content in the, the future definitely do not hesitate and click on uh, the subscribe button we can grow as a community based on uh, that and yeah see each other in the next uh, future videos. Have a great rest of the day.